Hi everyone, welcome to the next installment of our running strength and conditioning class from the Sports Science Institute of South Africa together with Total Sports. I hope you're well and that you've had a great weekend. Okay, today we're going to start off with our mobility routine. Just standing on your one leg, slightly bend the knee, pull your other knee in towards your chest, and we're going to do leg extensions, extending your leg out, toes up towards nose, and control down. We can do 10 reps per leg. Stay nice and stable, hips nice and stable, chest up. 10 reps, change over to the other side, knee up towards your chest, hug your knee in, extending out, flexing your toes back. And they're going to alternate in kickouts, opposite foot towards your opposite hand, five per side. Keeping your chest up, trying to lean into your back. That's five. Good, standing on your one leg again, going to lateral swing, so taking your opposite leg side to side. Try and keep your torso stationary and just work from the hip. We're doing 10 swings on this leg and then 10 on the other leg. Last one, 10. Good, chain sides. Ten. Good, going to standing hip circles again on your one leg. Bring your other knee up and towards the chest, so rotate on the spot, kick out all the way around, squeeze the glute at the back. Again, kick back, squeeze in the glute, rotate out, and bring up and back over. That's one, we're doing five per side. Try and get as big a circle as you can without compensations from the rest of your body, especially your torso, so you don't want to be leaning out to the side. That's three, two more on the side. Five, good, chain sides, up, kick out and around, squeeze the glute, kick back, rotate out and back in. That's one. Two. Three. Four, last one. And five, good. Then you're going to lateral lunges. So side lunge, stand back up. Side lunge, bum back, keeping your chest up and back up. Make sure your toes keep pointing directly forward. Last one. Five, good. Other side, going out, bum back, toes pointing forward, chest up. Four. And five. Good. From there, going to a Samson lunge. Step forward, interlace your fingers, reach up, elbow down towards the ankle, twist open to the side. Standing back up, other side, lunge forward, interlace your fingers overhead, elbow down, twist open to that side. We're doing two more each side. Rotate as far as you can. Elbow down as far as you can towards your ankle. That's two. Last one each side. Good, and relax. From there you're going into inchworms. So you're hinging your hips back, taking your hands down to the ground, slowly walk yourself out. To a top plank and then push yourself all the way back up, squeeze your bum forward, doing that five times. Two, make sure your hips are not wobbling about as you're walking out and back up. Three, four, last one. On this last one, you can stay at the bottom, go directly into opposite toe touches. 
five per side. Make sure you're coming to a top plank between each rep. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core nice and tight. Good, that's five. Going into a pike position, head through your shoulders. Bring one leg forward into a pigeon. Bum back, chest over. Into the air. Other side, pigeon pose. Bum back, chest over. Doing five per side. Two more each side. And last one each side. Good, finishing off with some calf stand parts, 20 per side, alternating heel to ground. Heel to ground. Good. Right, hope you feel warm. From there, we're going to go into our first working set. Starting off with overhead step downs. So, you're going to need a towel or pole or band or something similar that you can hold overhead. If you want to use two light objects, one in each hand, you can do that. Like two water bottles, for example. You need a very small chair or ledge or step of some sort. Okay, around about mid shin height um, or a little bit lower. You're going to place the pole, towel, or band directly over your head. Lock out your arms, make sure it stays over your head and doesn't start coming forward. From there, stand on the edge of the step on your one leg. You're going to push your bum back, slowly control down, keep the knee in line with your toes, touch your opposite heel down the ground in front of you, and squeeze your bum forward. Okay, your heel of the standing leg must stay flat, so each, each time you're sitting back into your hips, heel stays down, knee in line with your toes, touching your opposite heel on the ground, standing up. Okay, we're doing 10 on each leg. Keep that core nice and tight. Sit back into your hips. Touch in front and up. Eight, make sure the knee stays nice and straight, in line with your toes. Nine, last one. Ten, good. Change leg, again grip through your big toe, slightly rotate the knee out, place the object directly over your head, keep your core nice and tight, sit back into your hips, touch your opposite heel in front, come back up. It's two. Four, six, eight, two more, and last one, ten. Cool, nice work. And there you'll be two light objects. If you don't have them, you can use the pole or band that you just used. Okay, but ideally an object in each hand. Just one directly above your shoulders. Bring your heels towards your bum. Toes up. Squeeze your stomach nice and tight. Bridge your hips up. And from there we're doing hamstring walkouts. So slowly walking your heels away from you. Keeping your toes pointing straight. Hips up the whole time. Go into a near full extension. And then walk your heels all the way back in. Okay, that's one, and we're going for eight. Keep the hips up, core nice and tight. Try not to let the hips drop or rotate side to side. That's two. Three. Four, halfway. Five, 
three more. Six. Seven, go through the last one. And slowly relax. Good, nice work. Okay, we're going to go for one more set. So if you have your pole, towel, or band again, stepping up on top of your small chair, step or ledge, place the object overhead, keep your core tight, your ribs down to your hips, stand on your one leg, grip through your big toe, knee slightly out, sit back slowly into your hips, touch your opposite heel in front, and squeeze your bum forward. Two. Five, halfway. Keep sitting back to your hips, getting the glutes involved. Eight. Two left. And ten. Good. Changing legs. Grip through your big toe, knee slightly out. Object overhead, core nice and tight. Sitting back into your hips. Touch your opposite heel in front. And squeeze your bum forward. Five. Make sure that knee is not falling in. Keep the big toe down. Rotate from the hips, your knee slightly out. Eight, two left. And ten. Great job. Okay, grab your two light objects again. Going to our last set of hamstring walkouts. Lying on your back, objects directly above your shoulders. Bring your heels towards your bum, toes up. Squeeze your stomach nice and tight. Squeeze your bum up. Slowly walking one heel out at a time near full extension and walking all the way back in. That's one. Two. Three, keep it up. Keep squeezing the hips up. And as stable as you can. Or halfway. Five, three to go. Seven, go for your last one. And slowly relax. Nice, great job. Right, and then we're going to go into our second working set. You're going to need one object. It can be a little bit heavier than what you just used. First one's going to be a tempo waiter sumo squat. Okay, it's quite a mouthful. Let's break it down for you. So you're going to have your one object on your one shoulder, sumo stance, nice and wide. Okay, toes pointing out. Feet facing forward. Okay, from there keep your core nice and tight. You're going to slowly back into your hips. Three seconds on the way down. Two seconds hold the bottom and nice and fast. One second on the way up. You're going to perform six reps with the weight on your one shoulder and then six reps with the weight on your opposite shoulder. Okay, so 12 in total. Okay, core nice and tight. Slowly sitting down. One, two, three. Pushing your knees out. Two second hold. One second up. One, two, three. Two second hold, one second up. One, two, three, one, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, one. Got two left on the side, slowly controlling down, hold and up. Last one. And up. Good. Chain sides. Slowly sitting down, 
hold and push the ground away. Make sure you're keeping your core tight, chest up the whole time. Pushing your knees out so they're tracking towards your toes. Three, four, five, last one. Six. Good. Okay, you can use the same object or slightly lighter one. We're going to be doing Staggered good mornings, okay, so targeting hamstrings and glutes. You're going to stand in front to one leg, other leg staggered, so slightly behind, okay. Try to put most of the pressure on your front leg. You're going to hold the weight um, in front of you, okay, or if you prefer, you can hold it behind your head. I'm going to hold it in front over here, okay. Keep most of the weight on this leg, just your forefoot of the back leg lightly touching the ground. It's going to be a hip hinge pattern, so hinging your hips back, slowly control your down, from there push to your heel, squeeze your bum forward. So controlling slowly down, bum going back, chest over, push to your heel, squeeze your bum forward. That's three, we're going for ten per side. Make sure you're not going into a lunge, okay? so it's more of a hip hinge movement rather than a squat. So it's hips back, chest over, keeping your lower back straight. That's five, you're halfway. Last two. Ten, good. Changing sides, other leg in front, first leg behind, most of the weight on that front leg, weight in front or behind your head. Slowly hinge your hips back, chest over, push to your heel, squeeze your bum forward. Seven, three left. And last one, hinging back, chest right over, push the heel, squeeze the hips forward. Good. One more set of those two. Going back to your tempo sumo squats. Wide stance, toes pointing slightly out. Chest up, core tight, weight in your one shoulder. Sit slowly back and down, knees out towards your toes. Two second hold, one second up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, last one on the side. Six. Change hands, keep the same stance, chest up, core tight, slowly back into your hips, one, two, three, two second hold, one second up. Last one, six, good. Okay, grab your lighter weight or keeping the same weight. Second set of staggered good mornings, one leg in front, weight in front or behind your head. Keep most of the weight on that front leg with a very slight bend in the knee. Hinge your hips back, chest over, keep your lower back straight, feel the tension in the hamstrings, push through your heel, squeeze your hips forward. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Let's go at changing sides. Slightly bend the knee, hinge your hips back, slowly control down, chest over, push through your heels, squeeze your bum forward. That's fine, halfway. Two to go. Ten. Let's work. All right, we're going to our third set. For this, we're going to start off with a side plank abduction. Okay, like we've done a while ago. Okay, so we're going to aim for a full side plank. If you struggle with a full side plank with straight legs, you can place your bottom knee on the ground with the knee bent. Okay, and top leg straight. You can choose the full side plank. You're going to have your feet together, knees stacked, hips stacked, and then elbow on the floor. Straight line between all of those. Push it to the ground, raise your hips off the floor, squeeze your hips forward. Take your top leg slightly behind your midline, and you're raising it up, controlling down. Okay, we're going for 15 per side. That's three. Six, squeeze that top glute to raise the leg up, control down, make sure the leg is not coming in front of your midline. Okay, so keeping it directly in line with your midline or slightly behind. That's ten five to go. Good. Changing sides. Okay, again, full side plank. Squeeze your bum forward. Straight line between ankles, hips, and elbow. Raise top leg up. Slowly lower down. Keeping it slightly behind your midline. And relax. Good. Then standing up, grabbing a single weight. You're going to go into a weighted curtsy lunge, curse like squat. So holding it up into your chest. Okay, we're going to be doing six per side, six combinations. You're going to a curtsy lunge, so your one leg is going behind the other. But your hips are facing forward and the front knee is staying in line with the toes. Okay, behind the other, lunging down, come up straight into a side lunge, hips back and down, pushing back up, and that's one rep. Okay, we're going to be doing six per side. Slowly back, hips facing forward, knee and line to toes, foot to the side, hips back and down. That's one. Two. Three halfway on the side. Five, last one. Six. 
six. Good, changing sides. So the other leg staying in front. First leg going behind, lunging down. Side lunge, bum back and down. It's two. Four, two to go. And last one. And relax. Good. One more set of those two. So starting back with the side plank abduction. Okay, so straight line between your feet, your knees, your hips and your elbow. Squeeze your bum forward, raise the hips up, top leg slightly back, squeeze your glute to raise up, and control down. It's two, going for 15. Two more. And relax. Good, changing sides. Straight line between ankles, knees, hips and elbow. Squeeze the hips up and hips forward. Top leg slightly back behind your midline. Squeeze the glute raise up. Control down. Two more. And relax. Good, nice work. Standing up, grabbing your one weight that you're using for the curtsy lunge. First leg squat, hold it into your chest. Curtsy lunge behind you, hips facing forward, knee and mount your toes. Side lunge, hips back and down, keeping your chest up. That's one. Three, halfway. Last combo. And relax. Good, chain sides. Curtsy lunge, hips back and down. Side lunge, hips back and down. Three, four, two more. And relax. Good. Great job. Okay, and then we just have one more superset left. Okay, a bit more core focused. Your first one's going to be a top plank with pull through or drag through. You can use um, any other object that you have lying around, such as a water bottle or backpack. Okay, you're going to be setting up on the top plank, the weight on your one side of your body. Hands beneath shoulders, squeeze your glutes nice and tight, core nice and tight, sucking your belly button in. Keep your hips as stable as you can as you take your one hand, reach through, pull the object across to the other side, change your hands. Reach the opposite hand through, grab the object, pull through to the opposite side. 
get the whole time trying to keep your hips as stable as you can, prevent them from rocking around. Alright, so we're going to be doing 10 per side. Okay, push through your heels, squeeze your bum, squeeze your core nice and tight, reach through, pull across. That's one. And one. Two. And two. Three. Four. Keep that core tight, hips squeezed nice and tight. Try not to rotate at all. Six. And last combination. Good, nice work. Okay, then using a light object, we're doing a lateral dead bug. So for that you're going to lie flat on your back, bring your knees directly above your hips, hands directly above your shoulders, okay, with your one hand holding the light object. Okay, that hand and then the opposite leg is going to be moving whilst the other arm and leg combination are staying completely still. Squeeze your belly button in, core nice and tight, keep your lower back flat and your torso stable the whole time. Okay, you're going to take that object out to the side as you extend the opposite leg out and bring both back to the middle. Doing 10 on the one side, 10 on the other side. Keep your core nice and tight, stable as you can. It's five. Nine, last one. Ten, good. Chain sides, now it's this arm and the opposite leg extending out. One. Two, keep squeezing the stomach nice and tight. Make sure your lower back's not lifting off the ground. Two more. Two. Good, nice work. Okay, going back to the top plank pull through, do one more set of those two, and then we are done. So, top plank position, hands beneath shoulders, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core nice and tight, pushing through your heels. Take your opposite hand, reach through, pull the object across. Changing hands to keep your hips nice and stable. That's five halfway. Two more each side, almost there. Keep the core tight, hips nice and steady. Resist that rotation. Last one, and relax. Great job. If you have a light weight, going to lateral dead bug, lie on your back, knees above your hips, hands above shoulders, tuck your chin in, squeeze your core nice and tight. Slowly take that object out to the side. As the opposite leg extends out and back to the middle. Three.
और Chain sides, opposite hand holding, and again opposite leg extending out. Keep the core nice and tight, low back flat, torso as stable as you can. Last one. Whew. That certainly works the core. All right, great job everyone. I'm just gonna finish off with a brief stretch. So you're gonna start lying on your back, take one knee across your body, reach to the opposite side. Sides. Good, bring both legs up straight as you can, try and reach for your toes and pull them down and push your lower back flat. If not, just grab behind your calves and again push your lower back flat. Keeping your legs as straight as you can. Good, place one foot on your opposite knee and grab behind the thigh, pulling back towards your body. Chain sides. Okay, sitting up, fold your knees or cross your legs apart each other, keep the chest up and slowly fold all the way forward, reaching your hands forward, pushing your bum back and down. Reach your hands across to the left hand side, turn your torso towards the side and try and reach with the opposite hand. And take your hands across to the right hand side, pushing your bum back, reaching with your left hand. And back to the middle, reaching forward one more time. Good, coming up into a lunge position. One knee forward. Push your hips forward, keep the core tight, reach the same hand up as your back leg, leaning to the side of the front leg. Up into a diamond dog, push your heels towards the ground, head through your shoulders. Other leg forward into a lunge, relax the back knee down, push the hips forward, reach the same hand up as your back leg, lean to the side of your front leg, up into a downward dog, heels towards the ground, head through your shoulders, push the floor away. Slowly walk your feet up towards your hands. 
and curl your spine up and we are done. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you have a fantastic week and see you again next week.